Fight fans all around the world. We're going to talk some boxing. Lomachenko versus Luke Campbell. I was screaming at the screen for Luke Campbell to go to his right. I was saying, motherfucker, you need to keep on going to your right. Pivot to your right. I was yelling at the screen. Everything I said in the video that you had to do with Lomachenko, that's what Luke Campbell needed to do. The only problem was Luke Campbell, at a certain point in the, in the fight, he started coming straight at Lomachenko. Hey, I don't know why, but Luke Campbell would allow Lomachenko to circle to Lomachenko's left, Luke Campbell's right. He was supposed to fucking cut off the ring right there and press Lomachenko to keep on going to Lomachenko's right, and he would be going to the right of Lomachenko. But a hell of a fight Luke Campbell fought. The reason he got dropped was because Luke, uh, because Lomachenko got positioned on him. He keeps on letting Lomachenko go to his left. That's Lomachenko going to Lomachenko's left. And he's not cutting him off. That was his only fault. And how he got dropped was because he started going to the left. He was trying to run away to the left because he, he was feeling some of the body punches. But he's tough, man. He's tough. Luke Campbell's a tough motherfucker. I got to give him plenty of credit. And a lot of those rounds were very competitive. I had Luke Campbell winning a couple rounds well. Uh, of course, the two knockdowns changed the whole, well, the one knockdown changed the course of the fight. And then when he hurt Luke Campbell pretty bad in the 12th, it was the 11th, I think he knocked down Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell started going to his left, you know. But he had felt, I believe when you feel shots, you kind of don't think properly. But he needed to commit himself to going to his right. As I told you guys, go to the right look because Lomachenko looked to go weak side. That's the only way Lomachenko comes in on you. He's not going to come in no other way. He was trying to find a way by changing levels to come in on Luke, and Luke Campbell made him, made him pay for that. He made him pay. He made Lomachenko work to try and get on the inside. He made him work. All right? He had him on the end of his jab for most of the fight. But every time Luke Campbell started going to his left, he, Lomachenko didn't wait. He jumped on him. And Lomachenko was the stronger of the two. He was physically stronger than the two. I, I'm kind of disappointed in Luke Campbell because I see why he got dropped. I see why he keeps on getting punished with shots. It was because he would go to his left. Anytime Luke Campbell, Lomachenko had punished him with a liver shot earlier on in the fight when he was going to his right. So maybe that also. But Luke Campbell, what you got to do, it's real simple, man, with Luke Campbell, right? I'm a southpaw myself, so I could easily demonstrate this. So I'm going to demonstrate it, right? So... You are going to your right. So you're constantly doing like this, sticking that jab, doubling it, tripling it, and you're going to your right. But off the jab, you pivot off the jab. You pivot off the jab. Now Luke Campbell sometimes would pop the jab and go straight in. Bop, 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 bop. Or he bop, bop, right? But he's not pivoting. You got to pivot off the jab. The reason being, you want to constantly stay to the right of Lomachenko. And all the shit that Lomachenko doing with the footwork is just to get to your right. His, he wants to keep going left and go to your right. So you have to, sh you shoot at him, but then you pivot immediately. You pivot. Because then you pivot, you change the angle, and you can go, you can go around him. He, he don't ever have foot position on you. And you, if, he, if he try to even try something, you light him up with the, with the left. Because the left is, is going to go straight down the middle. Light his fucking ass up with the left. You understand what I'm saying? I figured him out. I figured out Lomachenko. I figured him out. I figured this dude out. He just like Manny Pacquiao. He can't fight on the inside. He, he can't fight on the outside. I figured him out. And when Luke Campbell pressed and stayed to the right and then he pushed against Lomachenko, Lomachenko had to go backwards because he has to have, he has to have lead for position or he has to have um, position to go weak side on you. Then he'll throw the straight left down the weak side. Or he throw the left to the body or whatever. He tried to change levels. Luke Campbell, all he got to do, he don't even have to use the uppercut. You can jab downwards on his ass. And you off, off the pivot every single time. All right? And anytime his ass, what he would do is circle out and then he would try and uh, go to, to his left. And Luke Campbell would allow him. When he, when, especially when Loma Seneca starts to circle out, that's when you advance on his ass. You cut off the ring and you advance on him to the right. He ain't got nowhere to go. And you drop your straight left down the center. Understand? I figured the dude out. I knew it. All right. And against an orthodox fighter, now I'm gonna tell y'all what you have to do. It's very simple. It's very fucking simple. Lomachenko is a southpaw, so he's still gonna want to go to his left, your right. The thing about it is, 
just like with Floyd Mayweather, you got to start circling and initiate it. You got to light his ass up with something. Whether it's you sticking a jab and you light his ass up with your right. So he knows he can't just come in on you. And then you circle him to your right. Always. You are always going to your fucking right. Always. With Lomachenko. He can't do shit. He can't do shit on you. Alright? <laughs> That's it. That's why he couldn't handle... Uh, 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 he couldn't do what he wanted to do to... Uh, uh, to Campbell. That's it, folks. Anyways... Uh, you guys, I'm what you need. If you don't know my channel, you can subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Subscribe. You can share. You can comment. You can donate via Western Union or MoneyGram. You know, Luke Campbell did a good fight, but he fucked up, man. He fucked his own self up. That's why he got knocked down. He messed up his own self. All right? He got hit with some jabs and stuff, too. But, again, most of the time when he was getting hit with something, it's either because he's going straight back or going straight forward, or he's going to his left, which you should never do against Lomachenko or against any southpaw. Should be going to your right. Now, most people say left to stay away from the 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 the, the, the left hand, but you also have to understand when you go to your right, you cut off weak side, so he can't go weak side on you. You see, if you're an orthodox fighter, he'll be going to your right, I think, because he wants to go past your jab. So if you're orthodox, this is a jab here, he's going to be going, he's going to circle into the right. You got to go to your left to cut that off. You see? Don't let him ever go weak side. Right? Now, Floyd, Floyd goes to the right with the southpaw, but he, he cuts an angle on, on the right. Because he wants to line up his right to hit the, the southpaw. So he does, he does something a whole different level uh, better. Anyway, people, peace. I'm out. Have a good one.